When Haley Vendiola takes Reinhardt for a walk, people tend to notice. A lot of people think he's quite brave looking or quite fierce, but he's actually a really big scaredy cat, which is really funny. Vendiola and Reinhardt are part of what seems to be a growing trend, cat walking. More cat owners are seeking ways to enrich the lives of their pets while not letting them roam free outdoors. He loves to watch the birds, he loves to watch the squirrels. Um, so he does get a chance to sort of get those hunting instincts out, but without us having to worry about him actually killing anything. Cats like Reinhardt are stars of the park and on social media. He has about 180,000 followers on Instagram. But some say catwalking's growing popularity is a problem. A lot of people see these adventure cats on social media and they think, oh, it would be really cool to get a photo of my cat out in the wild. Vokra, the Vancouver Orphan Kitten Rescue Association, adopts out cats and helps find missing ones. We've seen many instances with cats that uh, have been leash walk or taken out in their carriers where they've gotten frightened and they've slipped through their harness. It can happen in an instant and it happens quite frequently. Most of the time we never find them again or if we do it's really in sad circumstances where we only find a part of the cat. Bukovnik says anyone seeking outdoor exposure for their cat should consider a window or balcony enclosure, a so-called catio instead. Veterinarian Dr. Claudia Richter is a specialist in cat behavior, and she believes catwalking can be done safely if it's done right, and it can have benefits. There's just watching wildlife, there's hunting, there's other cats around. Um, that's a lot of stimulation versus when we put them into the house, most, a lot of our house cats are understimulated, and I do see this as a, as a source of behavior problems such as like peeing in the house, anxiety disorders, things like that. She says anyone considering catwalking needs to make sure they have the right equipment, like a harness and a backpack the cat can be put into if it's feeling unsafe. They also need to make sure the cat has its shots up to date and has a microchip and tattoo, and the cat needs to be willing. If you have a cat that's really, really fearful of people and you're going to go and walk her on the street where there's lots of people, maybe that's not the best idea. Catwalking may look easy, but for the unprepared it can end badly and be just as difficult as hurting some kind of animal that normally doesn't like to be herded. Liam Britton, CBC News, Vancouver.